Hello everyone and welcome to this mini lecture on using the quest to understand literature. The inspiration for this mini lecture is given to us from Thomas Foster in his book How to Read Literature Like a Professor. In Foster's book he gives us this idea of the quest and he says the quest happens in five steps and what we're going to do is look at this idea of the five steps in the quest and understand how it connects to or how it helps us make better sense of literature. So in that quest, he identifies five steps. The first step is the questers. Uh, this can be singular or plural, but we're usually talking about the protagonists. Who are the people that are setting out to do something? The next is a place to go. Now this can be real, it can be imagined, it can be physical, it could be emotional, right? So the real place, it could be going across the country, right? A road trip. It could be imagined, going to Narnia, going to the land of Oz. It could be physical. Becoming something, becoming bigger, stronger, becoming an adult. And it could be emotional, getting past some tragedy of the, you know, something that has happened in the past, or it could be trying to find love. It could be a lot of different emotional places to go. And within the story, we get a stated purpose or reason to go there, right? Why is the character going cross country to strike out on his own? Or why are they going to the land of Oz? Well, because, you know, the, their house has been twirled up in a hurricane, in a tornado and has landed here. So we get a stated purpose. And just to be clear, we always want to be skeptical of the stated purpose. It's the given reason. But we know if it's literature, there's usually more reasons than just the stated reason. Now, no quest is complete without challenges and trials along the way. The trip where the guy goes down to the corner store, you know, the corner store market and buys a gallon of milk and comes home and nothing happens, that's not a quest. There were no challenges. That's not a story. Nobody wants to hear, oh yeah, Joe went down to the corner store, he got a milk and he came back and that was it. No story there, right? We need challenges and trials along the way, you know. Joe had to dodge a car, he got kidnapped by you know, these people and taken across the world, whatever. We need challenges and trials along the way. Finally, when all of this has happened, we also need the real reason for the quest. And we get this by looking at what has changed about the quester on a deeper level. Now, this is kind of the real reason. We talked about the stated reason, the stated purpose, what we're looking for is a a better reason for that, right? The stated purpose is what gets the quester there, but the real reason is what the character has learned about the world, about him or herself, about just where they sit in the, the larger picture. So that's the quest in five steps. I'm going to give you a few caveats and then we're going to look at a few examples. So a few things to note here is the real reason, as Thomas Foster says, almost universally is self-knowledge. But of course, you can't just say, okay, fifth step, self-knowledge, bam, done. It's more what kind of self-knowledge, what is new that the character has learned about him or herself or the characters, the protagonist, what I, how have they changed? Lord of the Rings is a great example, right? How does Samwise change? How does Frodo change? How do... How does all the main characters change as a result of that quest, right? We had many different protagonists in The Lord of the Rings, and now we see well, what, what ways have they each gained a certain different type of self-knowledge. It's also important to note that quests can fail. And in fact, some of our best literature, some of our most moving literature, are about failed quests. And in fact, we often call failed quests, or another name for failed quests, are tragedies. Romeo and Juliet, that was a quest that failed. Hamlet, that was a quest that failed. Right? Anytime you have a story in which the character does not succeed in his or her quest, right? The Great Gatsby, failed quest. And then finally, the fifth step, right? The real reason. That's when we really get to talk about literature. That is, the first four steps in the quest are plot, are telling us what happens along the way. It's just telling us about the story. But when we get to that fifth step, that self-knowledge or what it is that is the real reason, then we're getting to talk about literature. Then we're getting a bit more in-depth into literature. Here's where we get to start to talk about themes. Here's where we got, get to start to talk about significance and symbolism and all of that. So just be aware if you want a really good way of kind of getting into talking about literature and not just talking about plot, right, not just talking about the superficial of what happened, 
but the significance of why it's important or what it means, then you're really focusing on that fifth step. And you can use these five steps to help make sense of a story and get deeper into it. All right, so we're gonna take a look at two examples and just kind of show you how this plays out. So in one example, we have the story uh, To Build a Fire, To Build a Fire by Jack London. In the quester in this is the nameless man walking in the woods or in the Alaskan frontier. The other story is the yellow wallpaper and the quester in this story is the woman writing about her experience. The yellow wallpaper is of course by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. All right, so the places that they're going. To build a fire, the narrator or the character is going to the camp is going to meet going to the camp to meet his friends and the yellow wallpaper the woman is attempting to get physically and mentally better, right? To recover from postpartum depression. Now the stated purposes and reasons. To build a fire, the character is going to the camp to meet his friends, that's one part of it, and also the, the extension of that is to make money. They're, they are looking to profit off something out, I believe if I remember correctly, it's timber. And then the yellow wallpaper, the narrator or the character, the protagonist, the quester wants to be with her newborn baby. That's the reason she's stating for getting better so she can see her baby again, she can see her children, she can move about freely. The challenges and trials along the way. Well, for the, narr for the character in, uh, in To Build a Fire, the bitter cold and the long trek to the camp. Uh, that's, that's several of the challenges. There's a lot more. He gets wet. There's all sorts of, you know, he's unable to build a fire. Uh, those are things, additional challenges along the way, but these are two examples. The yellow wallpaper, uh, what's preventing her, what's, what's in her way is her confined condition. She's not able to really leave the room. She's confined to this room that is, is not necessarily agreeable to her mental health. Um, and also her mental health, her sanity begins to wane. Uh, and so she's trying to grapple with that or trying to hold on to that. And then we get the real reason for the quest. We get in the build a fire, the overwhelming power of nature. Uh, this is, or this is what the the character learns is that he, you know, he ignores all of the conventional wisdom about the world around him, about nature, and he suffers the consequences. Right, his is a failed quest. Also, in the yellow wallpaper, there is a failed quest. That is the self preservation in a male dominated society. That is. Uh, this narrator attempting to live, attempting to survive, is over, overly repressed uh, by both her, both her husband and her brother who have decided the best way to cure her is to cut her off from civilization. And she has no real say or no real power against it until she's gone completely raving mad. Uh, so here's an these are two examples of the quest. And again, the quest has those five steps, the questers, the place to go, stated reasons and purposes for going there, challenges and trials along the way, and the real reason for the quest. So hopefully this kind of gives you some good tools to start to work with and to move forward with this. Thank you very much.